Welcome to the next episode of the kicking series throughout the summer where I teach you one kick each week through the summer so that at the end of the summer you can have a awesome combination and be a full-fledged kicker by the end of it. Today we're going over what's called a scoot, which isn't technically a kick. I know, it's not technically a kick, but we're gonna need it not only for the combination at the end of this series, uh, which we're getting close to by now. Uh, like I said before, I've made all these videos way in advance so that my members only can get them. Um, so my sense of time may be not perfect, but I'm pretty sure we're coming to the end of the series fairly soon. And so it's time to get into uh, this linking motion that will help us link kicks together. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avery that's not super right, and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Let's get started. To do a scoot, and we're not gonna do a combination yet, but to do a scoot, what we're going to need to understand is our crouch position. Our crouch position doesn't actually put our knees on the ground. However, what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm gonna take a knee so you can see it a little bit better. Our dominant hand, which is my wristband hand right here, will be on the ground. Our non-dominant foot will be up and our dominant leg will be back just like so. And again, from standing, this is just a nice wide base, kind of like many of the uh, kicks that we've done, except slightly at an angle, and placing a hand down like so. From here, we're gonna take our dominant side and we're gonna swing that leg past and stepping around, trying to face our toes towards the opposite direction we just stepped. So if I stepped to my left, my toes are facing to the right. At the same time you step, you push off of that non-dominant leg to launch you in the air. So you place that hand down, sting through, launch, just like so. When you launch, the goal is to get your hips up and over as high as you can. So again, that dominant side swings through, non-dominant side kick pushes off, and our, gets our hips up and over as high as we can so that when we do the scoot at full speed, we can swing through just like that and continue our momentum. This is a momentum gaining technique, meaning uh, many of our kicks like a pop 360 hook or pop 360 crescent or a cheat 720, real 720s, all those kicks are momentum based kicks. And this is a way to get a lot of momentum very quickly into any combination. Now, the last thing before we move on is the landing. How do you go out of this technique? Once you can get your position, you can swing through, you can jump over, what do you do after? And so that non-dominant leg will simply swing through to do whatever kick you're going to do. So let's say we're doing a round kick out of this. You would scoot, swing through, round kick, just like that. It's just swings through and continues your momentum. That is the key. Not stopping your momentum, but continuing it through. And that's it for today. I will see you guys next time because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing change while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to